How's it going gamers? Another day, another video. So um, basically in this one we end up on raiding a guy. Um, if you would have seen the last video, there were server griefers in this area on our server. They were going around just murdering everybody. Um, freshies, newbies, newbies, you know, anybody who's just spawned on the beach. People are running around with gear, without gear. They didn't discriminate, they were just murdering everybody. And um, we'd had enough, so we ended up, you know, stockpiling enough to be able to start getting into the base. Gets in, it turns out they've logged off. Weren't really happy about it, but we weren't waiting around, so we ended up raiding them, took everything. They've not logged in since. You know, it's like they've just abandoned the server before they got raided. So, luckily for us, I guess. Anyway, we've ended up, uh, it took us a day to sort the inventory out, we ended up without much stuff. So what do you do with all that? Well, we ended up um, in a firefight with one guy, and um, I got killed, and it didn't tell us the name of the player who killed us, it just said you died to bleeding. So we ended up returning to the area, we saw this guy messing around with a base, put two and two together, ended up coming up with five unfortunately. Starts engaging this guy, was shooting his base with high explosives, all sorts of stuff. And uh, the guy just logs out, yeah, it was like, well, you know, if it's a server griefer, I wouldn't be doing that. Anyway, we ended up meeting one of his neighbours, a guy who lives near to him. And he says he knows him, you know, like, not in real life, but he knows him, he's been playing video games with him for quite some time. And... Um, there's, this just doesn't seem like, you know, his character to just start randomly shooting at people and killing people. He's, it doesn't seem like his character, he said. So, we obviously started getting to the conclusion, you know, it was mistaken identity. We started shooting at this guy. We've literally trolled him out of the server. And we don't want to be doing that, you know. We're not griefers. We're not kill on site type of people. Um, so, what we ended up doing was reverse raiding the guy. Once we'd done that, I messaged the guy. He seems to be fine with it. All, it seems all right with it all. Um, so hopefully he'll stay on the server. He'll have some fun and he won't, you know, um, end up in a brutal part of Rust where it's just the way it's been for a lot of uh, new players who are playing solo. You know, it's been pretty flipping rough for a hell of a lot of players out there. So we decided to make this guy's death. Anyway, this is what we ended up doing. This is the video. I hope you enjoy it. And you know, we'll have a little bit at the end. Thanks a lot. Roger that. It's open. It's open. He's there on the floor. Yeah. It's like, yeah, jump on his furnace to get up. Right, we probably might have to get a ladder to get up there and blow that door up. Oh, you don't want to kill him. I think you killed him as well. <laughs> oh yeah, you killed him. No, it's not. It's not. And you blew the furnace up so we can't get upstairs now. You're going to have to get a ladder and a hammer. Oh, I'll have to go and get one. Can I make a ladder? It's ain't going well, man.
The back of it, yeah. So there you have it, we ended up giving this guy, um, we replaced his furnace, replaced his TC, filled his TC up quite a bit, got his furnace on the go, um, gave him a few boxes, filled them up, um, rod sign armour, under armour, rad suit, all the tools he should need, um, quite a lot of resources, you know, just um, loads of bits really, green card, blue card, red card, fuses to be able to go and do airport and things like that just gave him enough bits you know to have him have a really really good start in rust which a lot of players don't really have now um once i'd done all this i obviously messaged the guy let him know everything that had gone on that we'd replaced his doors you know replaced everything we reinforced his um floors his ceilings we left his walls alone because we didn't know what he was doing with his base and we didn't want him having to use the tools up to take down walls and things like that we just assume that since you know he's left his walls in the condition that they're in he's, he's after replacing them or doing something else with them so that was about it really yeah we gave him crap ton of stuff uh, the only thing we didn't give him were firearms because we didn't know how this guy were going to react but i ended up messaging him as soon as it was all done i let him know look you know it was us who were shooting at you pretty sorry about it you know blah 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 and uh, he seems to be all right with it all so um, at least, you know, we managed to do a bit of good out there in uh, a kill or be killed world. And, uh, yeah, I feel a little bit better about myself for it. So, anyway, that's the video. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. You'll get notifications from YouTube every time our videos go live. Thanks for watching. And, as always, good gaming out there.